Gary Gregg, a.k.a. Scary Harry Gary, Golden Gate Palms Nursery Point, Richmond, California, reporting to you today from Los Altos Hills, California, on the very edge of the Silicon Valley. And what am I doing? I'm standing in front of this beautiful avocado tree that I um, sold here a while back and uh, in front of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful landscape with all kinds of wonderful plants. Here's a secondary avocado that uh, they had me drop off today on this wonderful, wonderful spring day. Look at all the rhododendrons, the camellias blooming. It's just that kind of a day. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here right now to talk about my friend, Jody. She is from, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Fox Landscaping. And if you're down here in the Silicon Valley, this is definitely the people you want to use. They're really good. Say hi to Brian for me. Here comes one of their trucks right now. There it is, Fox Landscaping. Here it comes. Um, but what I want to talk about is the creativity of my friend Jody. Jody had a big tree. The big tree died. Ordinarily, you would cut the big tree down. Not Jody. Well, in this case, oh, look at, look at the little, you see the habitat? See the habitat that you create, that Jody created? If it wasn't for Jody, these little guys wouldn't be having this much fun running around on Jody's tree. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because ordinarily when a tree dies, you cut it down. Look, here they come. There they come. Those are the guys that make it happen. And, uh, but this tree here had a beehive in it and the customer was like, I don't want to hurt the beehive. You know, and so uh, Jody said, I have an idea. I have an idea. We can leave the tree trunk where it is and the bees where they lay. And then uh, we'll put some bird houses. Anybody home? Nobody's home right now. Some bird houses on it, really cute little bird houses, all the way up the tree. And then we'll plant some trumpet vines on it. This is the yellow Macfadnia. Macfadnia is the cat's claw vine. That's the claw of the cat right there. It grabs a hold of anything. You could have the slickest of stucco, slickest of concrete, and it'll still grab it. This one grabs better than anything. Well, maybe not ivy. But out of all the trumpet vines, this one grabs the best. It's not in flower right now. But I just wanted to take a uh, moment to say how ingenious and creative Jody's idea was. Now, apparently the bees moved out so they can cut the tree down. But the customer likes the dead tree so much. And Jody's cute idea with all the birdhouses that the customer now wants to keep it. And what's well, kind of weird and bizarre is I do see a face in the tree. It, to me, it looks like a nose and an open mouth with a mustache. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, let's give a shout out to Jody of uh, Fox Landscaping for having such a wonderful idea. And if you are uh, contemplating putting in a really good landscape, I can completely vouch for this company. I've been working with these guys for a long time and they're really good. So give them a call. And when you do, Say, tell, tell, ask for Jody and tell her scary Harry Gary sent you.